and welcome back to Sparkle Me Pink. My name's Michelle, and today I'm going to be trying on nine different swimsuits, all purchased from walmart.com. Now, I mentioned that I purchased them online because I see them in store, but I wanted to make sure I would be able to create links down in the description box to take you exactly to the one that I'm talking about, you know? I am put all of the pricing and sizes down there as well, just so we can kind of get through the video somewhat quickly. I wanna try them on see how they look on my body, see if maybe it doesn't fit me quite right, maybe it would fit your body type a little bit better, and go from there. Again, everything will be listed in the description box down below. If you click through those links and decide to make a purchase, I do earn a small commission, which really does help me out, so thank you so much if you purchase something directly, like immediately after clicking it, that helps me, you know, make more videos like this. My goal today is to find maybe two or three swimsuits to supplement the ones that I added into my collection last year. So last year I filmed an Amazon try-on haul for swimsuits and it was so, so much fun. Some were a massive not and some were a massive hit. I still love all of the ones that I have ended up keeping, but there's a couple ones that I'm like, I'm ready for something new, you know? And it's kind of cool is that all of the swimsuits I did in the Amazon haul are still very relevant, very on trend still, and available. So I will put a little card up here to that video so you can open it in another window and watch it after watching this one. As for size reference, I typically wear a size large, extra large if I'm doing like junior sizes, and a size 12 slash 14, 14 when I'm closer to my period. Right now I'm closer to like a 12 pretty much when I've been like shopping for bottoms and tops I usually get a large. Ooh, and as for my makeup, I ended up filming this using all of my April Ipsy bag and glam bag products. I'll put another little card here so you can watch that because it was really fun and I was really impressed with them. All right, enough of all the details. Now that you know all the things, let's go ahead and try on our first swimsuit. I'm so excited. Oh, and I have gotten quite the use out of this robe. It's the one from the Spring Fat Fit Fun. I'm telling you, it's definitely earned its keep. And I will have some summer videos for FabFitFun boxes, add-ons, and different things like that. If you don't know already, I get the add-on box, and then I get two of the like seasonal boxes, so it's really exciting. Those will come out soon. And one last thing before we begin, I do keep my undies on, my bottoms on for all of these try-ons. I just figured I'd set out that disclosure, and you should too when trying on bathing suits. Just like public service announcement, keep your bottoms on. First swimsuit, it is super cute. The reason I picked this is when I saw it online, I liked the way that the top gave me full coverage, but maybe just slight little lift. I don't know why I thought that it would looking at the picture online, but it, it's doing that. I'm not feeling like too droopy. The bottoms have these super cute little cutouts here. And then the studs, I didn't realize it until I went to try it on. Oh, I hope it's picking it up. They're iridescent, like one minute they look kind of pink, one minute they look a little bit green. It's really fun. The back strap here in the middle is adjustable this way, and it has like a little sliding bar, just like the um, little arm pieces, which mine are fully let out here on the arm pieces, so just keep that in mind. The bottoms are high-waisted just above my belly button, and they do have the high back and full coverage on the bum. I think it's cute. And I was worried about my little chub above little uh, love handles here. It would look too like, like, <laughs> like a busted can of beans or something poking out. But I don't think it looks that bad. Again, all of the details and sizing will be in the description box down below. But I did think it was really cool that this particular one came in a D double D size. So there was like extra small to extra large and then the D double D. So I think that's why it fits so well. All right, let's go to the next one. Now this one's kind of fun. This I got because the coverage and I thought it was different with the square neck and the colors, very like vintagey vibes. It did have matching bottoms as well, but I forgot to add those to my cart. So I ended up getting these black ones. There's a little bit of ruching on the side. And you really just can't go wrong with a good scoop all black bottom. This slides over your head. There's no adjustable area whatsoever. And I got this in an extra large, but it is huge. Like my, 
my blue balloons are coming out the bottom. Um, so maybe I could get it in a large. I don't know that I like, like I keep futzing with it, maybe just because it doesn't fit. But I don't know that this is the style that I would wear on a regular basis down to the pool or the beach. But I wanted to show you nonetheless because it is really cute. What do you think about this one? It has the high-waisted bottoms with a little bit of detailing and like little gaps right here and all the way through. These bottoms are an extra large, so they are a little bit big on me. I would need to size down to a large. And the top is actually from the Plus line. So they have the same exact suit in like the straight sizes and then they have them in the Plus line. I decided to go with the 1X instead of the extra large. So in this style, they didn't have a D double D. Otherwise, I would have gotten that one. And I thought, looking at the pictures, this one had more coverage, which it does. I'm totally covered. I'm just not supported. So there's no underwire underneath. There's just underwire on the sides. And this cute little piece here, no matter how much I like try to lift, because I need some help with the lift, this piece under here because it's a little bit big for me and it's on the tightest setting in the back. See how it's pulling up like that? And there's cute details back here too and the straps are adjustable. Um, super cute, it's just the wrong size for me, that's all. So I think I'm gonna try to get probably the XL in the other top, like in the, other, in the straight size, and then a large in the bottoms. And see how they're just a little bit too big. Like they're on, but if I got wet, I'm afraid they may like slip off kind of deal. I just think this would be super cute to travel with. You can wear the black bottoms I just had on to mix up the suit and kind of mix and match a little bit. Um, that way you're not like double printed or you only have to buy one piece. Think of that. Buy the black bottoms and buy a couple different funky tops and you have a couple different swimsuits all mixed together. But I love this one. I feel covered and I wish it fit. Oh, I love this print so much. I love that the bottoms aren't fully high waisted. It kind of comes right under the belly button and it gives you the coverage that you want in this vicinity. It's got cute little ties on the side and full coverage on the bum. They come up a little bit high but these are extra larges and I probably would size down to the large just so I could feel comfortable in them. The top is also an extra large. And while I feel like the band is super, super loose and it adjusts like three different settings back here and I do have it on the tightest, I had to put these straps on like pretty tight too. I just feel like the fit of the top is not quite there. I wish this one came in a D double D type sizing like the one I tried a couple bathing suits back because it's hitting me like funny like right in here and it's gotten a lot of boobage which if that's your thing it's got a little v cut right here in the center and i think it's so so cute i'm just not feeling 100 percent comfortable in it like i could feel the straps really pulling on my shoulders because i had to put them on a little bit tighter um i just can't imagine myself like sitting by the pool and like not like messing with this a lot but if your body's a little bit different than mine, you might absolutely see these if they were tighter. Oh, they're just so cute. Wear, I wanna get these in a large and wear them with maybe a different top because the print is just everything. So this here is the only one piece that I ended up getting simply for convenience level. I go to the bathroom a lot, I pee a lot. So it's easy to just have a two piece. You know what I'm saying? But I just loved the print of this one. Again, they had some really, really cute prints. It has a razor back in the back, giving you some more skin back here. You're fully covered on your bottom though. And there's nothing like poking out weird. I'm not sucking it in, I'll be real. I'm just letting it all hang out right now. I don't feel like it's holding me in. Uh, let me see, there really isn't a mesh panel, so if that's something you're worried about, I mean, I don't really care about my lumps and bumps, they're there. But the dark suit sort of, like you can kind of see like where my underwear is, the little line right here. I'm not really worried about that because the suit has this print and it's a darker color, so it's slimming you out a little bit at the same time and distracting the eye. The top is a little bit big for me though, and it's giving me wonderful coverage. So I'm thinking, what size is this one? This is an XL, which is 1618. 
So the reason a lot of these might be big on me is because when you buy suits on Amazon, you know, you have to get them like two to three sizes bigger. And I was so worried that all of these were gonna come like super small. And I know they're coming from Walmart, totally different vendor and all together. And I'm typically a 1214. So what am I trying to get at? These are true to size. If you are a 1214, get a large. If you are a 1618, get an XL. If you are whatever the medium one is, get the medium one. Because I feel like that would fit you. Um, I'm definitely, definitely ordering this in a large though because I feel like this would be really great for if I go to do water sports. You don't want to be worrying about your top coming off, your bottom coming off, and this is super cute. Plus you can wear like little shorts and walk around for the day and then like jump into the pool and be ready to go. I don't feel like there's a lot of lift. <laughs> and maybe that's just simply because it's a little bit, you know, big on me, but um, there's little pads in there so I feel covered and I don't feel even though this is big sorry I'm not gonna get that close I don't feel like if I shimmy and shake the puppies are gonna fall out you know I really like this one I'm impressed with it like I said I don't normally like one pieces but this is cute I'm a little disappointed in this suit because I saw it when scrolling through it was one of the recommended ones at the bottom of one of the other suits I was checking out and I thought it was so cute. It was on the Walmart site, but I don't believe this is a Walmart brand, maybe like a third party type of thing. And it's the only one that was a third party. I actually think all the other ones are time and true swimsuits. That is another great thing about purchasing from like Amazon or Walmart or Target or anything like that, that you have a local store hopefully, is even if you purchase things online, you can usually return them to the store. This one, I have a feeling I'm gonna have to mail it back. Oh. My gosh, I saved the best for last. I am so excited about this one. Check it out. Is this not bathing suit like me? Or is it me, right? So this suit has a crocheted bralette style top, which I absolutely adore. There aren't any pieces other than right here on the side um, in regards to structure like underwire, but I don't feel like I'm going anywhere. And I love this. I love the color. It's kind of like a sagey green. It's kind of a little hippie-ish. The bottoms are high-waisted. Loving the soft print of floral. The little details on the side it has like a little crisscross, but it's not too scandalous, you know? And it kind of ties on the bottom. Those little taggles might be annoying throughout the day, but I'll probably forget that they're there. I don't feel like the straps are pulling on my neck, which is great because they do crisscross in the back and then you tie them down here. So you can make this as tight and as close together as you want. You might need a little help just because it's behind you, but I just tied it real quick for the sake of the video. And then the bottoms are full coverage here. Now I did buy a second pair of bottoms just because I wasn't sure if I would like how high-waisted these are. Oh, by the way, these are a size large and they fit me perfect. The top is an extra large and I'm glad I got it because I don't think the large would give me the coverage that I, that I. Let me go try on the other bottoms for you real quick. So here it is with the other bottoms. These are the same exact style and design as those black ones I tried on earlier. They got the little ruching on the little hip area here. Super comfortable. These are a size large. Again, top is extra large and I don't think it looks horrific. It might be a little bit too much green, but if you're not a fan of the high-waisted or you couldn't find the high-waisted ones that fit you correctly, this is another option. You could always just wear the black bottoms too. I don't see why that would be an issue. Absolutely keeping this top the way it is, the size it is. Oh, I'm so happy I found something that A fits and B is totally my style. But let me know what you think about all of these swimsuits in the comments down below. Don't forget, I link to everything in the description box. And I do appreciate you using those links because it does help me keep this channel alive and do videos like this more often. Um, if you have any other video requests or want to see bathing suits tried on from any other retailer, let me know. Because I'm open to doing something like this again. It was a ton of fun. And oh, if you do end up getting a suit, tag me if you post a photo because I would love to see you in the swimsuits that we tried on today. Before I let you go, I want to share a couple other things with you. I picked up these sandals. I haven't worn them yet, but they are so cute. They're from Walmart and they were under 10 bucks. I've seen these all over Instagram. And when I look at their accounts, they're like 30 bucks. So I'm all about a good bargain and they're super cute. 
I figured they would kind of go well with this little bathing suit. I'll also link to this bag down below. I've talked about this and shared it on Instagram a few times. I did get this off Amazon, not Walmart, but I figured I'd share while I had you here on all the beachy wear because it is so cute and it stays latched. And surprisingly, I fit my phone, my camera camera, and like a pen and a little mini notepad when we were going and checking out our wedding venues. I brought this with me and a lip gloss too. So it fit a lot of stuff surprisingly. And the other thing I bring to the beach with me is my towel blanket, beach blanket type thing. I love this print. I got this off of Amazon. I will link to it down below in case you're interested in a couple other little accessories to bring with you on your next trip. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.